Hello everybody. So uh, I haven't been doing a lot of recordings for my channels. I will apologize for that. It's because uh, this summer we have major projects. We're extremely busy. Um, at the beginning of the summer, um, we did um, have a couple of videos that we show you guys that uh, we've grown different type of variety of cucumbers and we try experience with uh, different type of uh, you know gardening, grow vegetable like beets. Uh, radish, all that kind of stuff. So um, we have a full garden right now. Uh, I cannot break it down to everything that you guys do, but like right now over here, if you guys can see, this is the lemon and cucumber that I uh, that I grow for the first time. And um, well, I mean, of course, we seed it. We didn't buy the plant. We buy the seed. And um, this one is bright, so it's kind of turned yellowish. Uh, it's supposed to be sour a little bit, but I haven't. I I've been eating them a few, and I haven't bumped into a one that's sour. It tastes just like a cucumber. It have a lot of water, and um, it tastes just exactly like a cucumber. And actually, I like it better because it's small and it's uh, a little crunchy, and I have more water. And uh, the shape of it is like a round ball thing, so it looks interesting. I guess. Uh, different shape of cucumber uh, my son loves it my daughter loves it my wife like it too I think I don't know if she get to try because every time there's one my kids jump into it so today um, I just got home and I see some of them turn yellow I believe that if it's get really yellow it can be really sour so I'm gonna try it later but right now I'm trying to harvest as much as I can As you guys can see, there's probably like 15 vines in there because um, when we see them, we didn't expect them all to be like, you know, growing. So when we um, when we seed it, we put like three or four in, in one container and obviously all of them grown. So we didn't want to waste any of it. So we just kind of like take it out from the canner and put a whole line of all these things. So now we have a bunch. You guys can see there's a lot of flower going on. So... I feel like we'll probably have a lot in like two or three weeks. We're gonna have a lot of it. But at the moment, we have um, a few. Like right here, it's run over here. Up my pee. And it's kind of turning yellow. So. This one. It's have a lot of spike on it, but it doesn't really hurt your hand. I'm gonna jump right in here. Because there's, there's a lot of flower in here at the beginning, but because there's so much of leaves in here, so it's hard for the bee to pollinate them. This one is not as yellow, it's too green. So, I ate a few of them like this, some are even bigger, like a bigger ball, like um, not like as big as the tennis ball, a little bit smaller, but it, they can get pretty big. There's a lot of baby ones in here. I'm trying to see because it's hard to see. Yeah, there's a lot of baby ones in here. They'll be ready in five days or maybe a week, or even faster if we have more rain. I love waters, but I have to have the sun. If you soak it too long, then the, the vine get really, the leaves get yellowy and rot the roots. And then the cucumber just gonna die out. That's one right here. But I'm gonna save it. Let's see if it get any bigger. I have to go to the other side, guys. But why am I in here? I am will, I will harvest this pea too later. Like this pea right here, when I work in the yard, I just kind of pluck it off and I do it like this. I just eat them. They're really crunchy and super sweet. I never know that you can eat pea raw like this off the vine, but it's wonderful. It tastes wonderful. Over here, I have some different type of uh, variety of cucumber. Let's see if we can go over here. 
I have grown so much stuff in here that I don't know what they are. So let's hope I don't step on any of them. Alright, I made it. Um, I have a lot of cucumber. I harvest about five or six a day and it keep growing so fast. That like this baby cucumber, they don't grow any bigger than this. This is like pickle style. There's one way here, this is ready. I don't want it to get too like, you know, big. I like its younger size and uh, more crunchy. Cause I don't like the seed inside to get hard. Some of them on the other side. This one, I can leave it for another day or two. There's one right here. There's another one growing right here. I have about seven or eight in here. Should be ready. So it's like almost every day I can get, you know, three or four to eat. And uh, this one we buy the plant. We have, we have three plants in here. And it's been put a lot of cucumber and I love it. I'm gonna go back over here to harvest the pea for now and uh, I'll come back outside on the, the other side of the fence to, uh, to get the get the cucumber on the outside. I leave some of the big pea here so my son he like to eat the pea inside. I don't eat the whole thing. He open it up, he get the, the pea inside, he eats it. So this one right here out here because it's older. So if you eat it, it's kind of chewy outside with the skin, but the inside the pea is ready. It's so hard to to harvest pea because it's hard to see them like they're everywhere and you don't see them at all and all of a sudden one day the autumn yellow and the peas get so hard you can't even eat them you end up having to cook them because you can't eat them at all but they are see this is a perfect side to eat them well. super healthy well. these are organic So when I stand down here, I see a lot of them. Now I'm up here, I only see some. Isn't that weird? In the winter, it's really sad when you look at your garden, because there's nothing grow. But then in the summer, this year my wife involved a lot. She almost do like 80% of growing. So my garden is filled with all type of variety. Um, all different type of vegetable, all different type of potatoes. We have green leaf potato, purple leaf potato. We have yams. We have um, we have different type of flowers. Uh, all different type of daisy. We have four different type of strawberry. Uh, then we have uh, all bunch of tomatoes. I have a July Fourth tomato. I have tons of them. But uh, I will show you guys the next video when the tomato is ready to be harvested, then I will show it to you guys. But um, if you watch my older videos, and you see that uh, when I harvest my radish, the bee that I grow next to the radish, it's, uh, it's ready to be harvested too. So I will show it to you guys right now. It's a little bit wet, but I, um, because I just watered them. But as you guys can see, let's see if you guys can see this. You see the bee? It's nice and big and it's ready to be harvested. So I probably gonna harvest this. I'm planning to harvest today, but we, we work today. So we came home a little bit late. I'll harvest tomorrow and we're gonna make soup tomorrow. It's perfect, fresh from the garden. And then all these right here, guy, I have a, by the end of the season, I will have a special videos. Um, you guys will be surprised that we, this major big project that's stopping me from um, uploading more video for you guys to see. But uh, these will be feeding to our uh, beloved animals.
And uh, over here, one best advice, okay? If you got love celery, right? You love pea, you have tomato, cucumber, celery, and pea, you can make lettuce. You can roll Roman lettuce. You can have lettuce every day in your life, okay? So the celery here, we have one, two, three, four, five, six head. I've been eating them. My uh, in-law been eating them. Uh, my sister-in-law, my mother been eating them, and the chicken they eating them. So, what I do is, you gotta harvest the whole thing. You just pluck all these one out. Let's say you want to eat like twenty celery, and just pull them out, and it's easy to break because it's so young and it, it's fresh. So you just break them. You go inside. You eat whatever. A few days later, it's full and grown again, and you can eat it throughout the whole summer. So you don't have to buy celery for the whole summer. And next year, we're probably gonna do four, because six is way too much, unless we have more people to consume it. And this is the purple, um, purple's uh, yam right here, sweet potato yam, the purple kind with the leaves. You guys see it? Look how big it's grown. When we get them, we have that much. Like just a small little branch like that. Look how much it's grown. We planning to grow these to eat the, the leaves. But we haven't had a chance to eat them because we have so many other vegetables that we eat. And uh, we're so busy. So now they're just growing like they're overgrowing. But um, we can make a special food out of these. It's extremely healthy for you. You can uh, just steam it and you eat with whatever sauce you like. Or you can saute it with garlic, you know. It's great. What is this called? Huh? Um, what is this? It's water spinach? Spinach, water spinach. I think this is Vietnamese water spinach. I'm not confirmed, but that's what we think it is. And um, we have a large bag. And we, we, we put them in here, we are growing, and it'll, but weather's get like super hot, and super cold, so it's kind of dying. We thought it was like, that's it, we, that's all we get. But actually it survived and um, we just harvest it. Um, I don't know, like five days ago or so. And we make um, soup out of it, sweet and sour soup. And um, all the roots are growing, so it's still growing strong. We, we like to eat, like when we grow, plant something in our gardens, we like to eat them throughout the whole summer. So we don't just pull the whole thing and get the roots out. We just kind of nip it right here, eat whatever or take whatever we like to eat. We don't waste anything. So that, we have cilantro here. I love cilantro, especially with like uh, Vietnamese uh, sandwiches and stuff, cold cut. But this one is old, so you can't really eat this. One is flour like this, you can't really consume some. Then over here, that's green uh, leaves, uh, sweet potatoes right there. And this, we plan not to eat the, the leaves. We're going to um, wait to get the, the, the yam, the potato underneath. I never really successfully grown sweet potatoes. Uh, and be able to harvest them, but let's see how how's go this year. And over here, this is um, purple potato plant, and you see, that's a plant right here. Oh my God, it's getting rotten, hun. I'm gonna pull one up because it seems like it's rotten on the top. There's probably mm -hmm. something damaged it. So we already have potatoes right now. If we harvest it, but we're gonna probably wait until like October or so maybe November, depend on. When all the plants started turning yellow is dying, then we're gonna harvest it. We wanna see how it is. First time we plant them. But uh, yeah, that's it for this corner for the whole five bed of, uh, of my garden. And uh, I'm gonna go over the other side and get more cucumbers.
So my garden is like a jungle right now. It's overgrown because we've been having a lot of storms, so a lot of rain and sun come, rain and sun come. Look at this purple potato flower. Isn't that cool? That's crazy, right? It actually has fruit, guys. If you, if you don't know, a potato plant actually has fruit. I've seen a fruit before. Alright, let me go and uh, get some of this cucumber. Oh, there's one right here. Don't think it's a baby because it's ready. It's actually getting too big. Look at one little spot and have like three or four cucumbers. I feel like I should make this thing taller so we don't have to bend our head down to get cucumbers out of here. This one is totally ready. Some people I've seen them leave the cucumber turn like super yellow but like it might be soft you know you want to eat it crunchy especially you eat them raw. It's just crazy how, um, you know, like the cucumber grows. You keep waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting, and then nothing growing, and all of a sudden, all of a sudden, it's just growing. Like, look, like right here, there's one baby one right here, there's another one right here, and then there's one all the way up here. You know? It's crazy, there's a lot. Okay guys, uh, that's it for today. Oh wait, come over here, honey. There might be, there might be some lemon cucumber over here. Let me look underneath and up because it's hard. There's so much flower and it's so yellowy. The rain is coming. All oh, right here. See you guys? There's one right here. There's one right here. There's another one over there. I'm not going to harvest them right now. I'm going to wait until we get a little. Um, like I say, in a few more weeks, we're going to have a lot. They just kind of grow together in the same day okay uh that's it for the live stream today i know it's off schedule i wasn't mean to do it but i was too excited to see the cucumbers things so i just want to share with you guys if if you guys haven't grown this type of cucumbers i suggest that you should do it it's great um it's very flavorful and it's wonderful it's easy to grow um and it's raining right now so Thank you, you guys, for supporting my channel. Please continue supporting. You know, continue watching. Don't give up on me because, you know, sometimes I get busy. I don't upload a lot. But if you have any questions, just ask me. I'm willing to share my experience. Whatever I do. Anything. Anything, just ask me. But uh, pretty soon. I promise pretty soon I will have a great videos of this major project that we're trying to complete this summer. We're trying to do it as fast as we can. Uh, beyond like you know without working and stuff like that we're trying to get it done all right guys thank you so much please share my video and subscribe if you haven't have a good day